In this video, we'll begin our discussion of the amazing offset function. The file we'll start with is offset example temp. And we'll have a couple of boring examples. I mean, don't worry about these boring examples. If you can follow them, you can follow the really exciting examples. So how does the syntax of offset work? Well, you have to start with offset. You start with a cell reference, any cell in the spreadsheet. And then from that cell, you move a certain number of rows. For instance, minus one means move up one row. Minus two means move up two rows. Zero means stay in the row you're in. Plus one means move one down, down one row. Plus two means down, move down two rows from the cell reference, etc. That'll take you to a new cell. And from that cell, you'll move a certain number of columns. So columns move minus one means move one column to the left. Columns moves minus two means move two columns to the left. Columns move zero means stay in the column you're in. Columns move plus one means move one column to the right, etc. You are now in a new cell. And now the cell you're in becomes the upper left-hand corner of a range. And that range will have a height and a width. The height will be the number of rows that basically in the range. And the width will be the number of columns if you're just picking out one cell, you could actually say height and width are one or just leave them out. But we'll always put them in to clarify what's going on. Okay, usually offset is used with another function like sum or average. Sometimes it's used by itself. But basically, let's look at three examples of how offset works. So here's a formula, no reason in the world you'd want to write it, it's just pedagogical. We start in B7. Here's an offset function. We move up one row. So minus one, up one row. We move over one column. Stop. This is the upper, upper left-hand corner of a range that contains two rows and one column highlighted in yellow. When you add that up, what would you get? Eight. Let's try another example. This formula right here, you start in E16 with your offset. You move up two rows. One, two. You move over three columns. One, two, three. You stop. That's the upper left-hand corner of an array it's got two rows and three columns, that's all these yellow cells, and they add up to 6, 11, 17, and 24. Let's do one more. So we start in H6. Where is H6? Right there. We don't move any rows. We move one column to the right. We are now there. That is the upper left-hand corner of a range, and that range is supposed to have three rows and two columns. It's the yellow cells. Add them up, and they add up to 18 in this column. 21, 28, 39. So in summary, you start in a cell, you can move up or down, left or right to go to another cell. That becomes the upper left-hand corner of the range that you're going to select with the offset function. And then basically you pick a height and a width, and usually that applies to another function. So we're now going to start with some really interesting examples of how the offset function uh, can really change your life in Excel. As the Moody Blues would say, I'm looking for a miracle to change my life. Offset can often be a miracle to change your spreadsheet and save your bacon at work. Okay, we'll continue in the next video with our study of the amazing offset function.